Today is Palm Sunday, the day that Christians mark Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. And it's a pretty safe bet that churches like this one, St. Joseph's here in Uptown, will be handing out palms to mark the occasion. But did you ever stop to wonder where they come from? Well, sit tight. Some area clergy will have some answers. Father Larry Policelli doesn't pretend to have all the answers when it comes to the origination of the palm branches that St. Mary's Church in Kingston will be handing out today on Palm Sunday. I trace it back to the box in the back room. <laughs> Actually, the long, sword-like palms given out at today's Mass can be traced to Alamo, Texas. In fact, many people who attend church will likely be taking home a strip of the southern states. Whatever their origin, Father Larry said the palm is an important symbol of the day's meaning, recalling Christ's arrival in Jerusalem for the Passover. And the people to kind of uh, praise Jesus were taking the palm off the trees and waving it uh, before him and laying jackets and things in the, in the streets as he rode in. It was a way of honoring him as their king. Palm Sunday is the start of Holy Week for Christians, a time to reflect on the days leading up to the crucifixion. And members of St. Mary's were preparing the sanctuary earlier this week and even making crosses in time for the occasion. It's the beginning of a very sad week for Jesus, and uh, it ends with Holy Saturday when he's risen, and that's a happy, Easter's usually my favorite holiday. Father Larry said his hope for believers this Palm Sunday is that they would reflect on the day's meaning and what comes after it. A lot of, a lot of people will come back to church for Palm Sunday that maybe haven't been in a while, maybe since Christmas or before. People have an affinity for the palms. They like, just like Ash Wednesday, a lot of people come Ash Wednesday who we wouldn't see. It'd be nice if they stayed every Sunday after that. That's what we ask them each week, I mean each year, but, but they're welcome. Everybody's welcome to come. That's In Kingston, I'm Paula Mitchell for The Daily Freeman.